Irashay, welcome to my channel, Gulduras Linda. Ayan na, ayan na, sa akin ay tumitira, mga kumitirang... Irashay, welcome to my channel, Gulduras Linda. Good morning, ayan. Mag-ano tayo, manunod tayo ng tutor tutorial ng belly dance. Baka sakaling lipag-asa tayo, eh. hmm. mabawasan ang pats mga kalinda. Ayan. Magluod tayo ng belly dance at magsayaw-sayaw tayo. Ayan, kailangan natin gawin yung tumaga. Hindi tayo makapagwagan kasi nagleleso na sila. Ayan. Okay, play na natin mga kalinda. Hello everyone, welcome to Rocks Online. My name is Sadie. I'm a world traveling teacher and performer. Eight. So in this case, from the classic rock sharky repertoire, which is the traditional vocabulary that we now see in our modern belly dance movements. So people like Shakira, people like myself, and all the YouTube dancers, we're really doing a more um, modern, stylized version of this classic rock sharky <laughs> repertoire that comes from Egypt. So if you go somewhere like Egypt and Lebanon, you're going to see the men, the women, the greatest at how well your body They're all dancing beautifully. It's just organically and naturally in their body. They grow up with this stuff, and it looks so natural on them. So my goal today is just to show you these five movements, break them down a little bit, but I don't want you to think about it too much. I want you to just follow along, kind of trust your body. So really center in, focus on your posture, focus on staying connected to the ground and allowing your body to intu intuitively move with you because I think you're going to be surprised at how well your body can do this. So let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, let's get started with two of the classic five movements. And what we're going to do is make a big exterior outer hip circle here. So our whole pelvic region is going to stay in neutral as we push by shifting our weight from our toes to our heels and the outside edges of our feet. So in this case, I'm going counterclockwise. I'm pushing my hips around in a nice big circle. I really want to equalize the circle so that as far forward as I go is as far back as I'm going to go, side and side. So if you just kind of let your body naturally react, this should feel a little intuitive. It might not come total naturally. You probably might throw some other things in there. Some people kind of want to sway their hips and their pelvis along with it, which we're not going to do, but just try to follow along naturally. This is just a tutorial just to have fun and kind of experience some of these great classic movements. So pushing the hips around, notice how my pant line stays parallel with the floor. I'm really feeling my weight shifting. Outer edge toes, outer edge heels, outer edge toes, outer edge heels. Notice my pelvis isn't shifting. I'm hinging at my hips when I come over. And then I'm slightly leaning back. You can even bend your knees a little bit on that front. If I show it from the side here, you can really see that nice big range of motion. It's a very big external movement. So my upper body is slightly leaning forward and back. So if I slow this down and I go front, see how my shoulders come back? And I go back, see how my shoulders come front. But I'm keeping my back straight. I'm keeping my spine straight. And then I'm going to go side. Same thing here. My shoulders are going to lean over to the opposite side and side, and my shoulders are going to go to the opposite side, and I'm still keeping my spine straight. So my spine doesn't really change, it's more this kind of hinging at the hips, leaning over with that natural counterbalance. So let's take it to the other direction, front side, back side, front side, back side. Let's just let our arms be nice and soft, so shoulders relaxed, and just bring your arms up at your side at a position that feels comfortable. Push all the way around. Again, feel that weight shifting from the toes, outer edges of the foot, heel, outer edges of the foot. Try not to lose your balance. So you don't want to go so big that you feel like you lose balance on this. Nice, big circle. Really visualize and see that circle you're drawing with the pelvis as it comes around. So that's our circle. Circles are a 
big part of rock sharky, a big part of the belly dance vocabulary. It should feel good. It should feel like you're kind of giving yourself a little massage, getting into some muscles that maybe you don't normally use on a daily basis. So if you need some time to practice, you can go really slow with your circles. And take it to the other direction. It's also a really nice stretch. If you work at a desk or you're even somebody who stands a lot at work, you just take a moment to do this. And in fact, it's something you'll see people do naturally. I very often see people naturally doing the stretch, even if they've never done belly dance before, because it really targets a lot of areas of the side and the back. Let's take this one into the other classic movement, which is a figure eight. And the figure eight we're going to do is a horizontal one. So if you imagine a figure eight on the floor, lying on the floor, you're going to trace that shape with your hips. So your left hip is going to make the left side of the figure eight, and your right hip is going to make the right side of the figure eight. The mechanics of the movement is going to be a twist and a sliding out, pushing that hip out to the side. Slide, 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 twist, 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 slide, 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 twist, and twist, and twist, and twist. So again, you can take some time on your own to practice these movements. Again, they should feel somewhat natural and intuitive. Not to say that it's going to look just like mine right now, but twisting and sliding are natural motions that our body can do. Twist, twist, slide, and slide. If we want to make that figure eight, we're going to think of going front to back, change front to back, change front to back. That means I'm going to twist and position my left hip forward, slide it out, bring it to the back. And now here in this position, I'm uh, twisted. I'm going to cut through the center, shift my weight onto the right foot, bring that hip from front to back, Shift the weight from my right to my left. Bring my hip from front to the back by pushing it out to the side also. Shift the weight, front side, back. Shift the weight, front slide it out, bring it back. Shift the weight, front slide it out, bring it back. Shift the weight, front slide it out, bring it back. So using this natural body mechanics of shifting the weight is really going to assist the kind of organic pathway of the movement. So we can actually isolate the footwork out and do this figure eight without the shift of the weight. That one's a little bit harder, a little bit more internal core work. This is what we get into more in the technique tutorials. It takes a little bit more focus and concentration where this kind of structural figure eight where you're using the weight change is a little bit more natural. So again, this one should, shouldn't feel too strange to your body. Again, it might not come out looking quite like mine yet, but you should be able just to get that natural rhythm and momentum of the hips pushing out to the side, change the weight right, change the weight left, change the weight right, twist, change the weight left, twist back, change the weight right, twist back, change the weight left, twist back, and also I'm sliding the hip out because if I just shift and twist, then I just kind of get this and I don't get much of a figure eight. So I still have to push the hip out. And that just kind of feels like when you sit into your hip, we all do this where we sort of relax into our hip every day to conserve energy. Our body likes to do that. So we all know what that feels like. So if you can just kind of play around with sitting into your hip, shifting the weight, and then put that twist, sit into the hip. Sit into the hip, twist it back. Change, sit into the hip, twist it back change. Sit into the hip, twist it back. And that's our horizontal figure eight that goes front to back. And these two transition really nicely into each other. So for example, if we take the accent on the left, left, right, left, right, change front and back and front and back again, figure eight, left, right, left, right, push front and back, slow it down. We're going to go left and right. Push front and back again. Left and right. Push front and back. I really feel my weight shifting. Left foot, right foot, 
left foot, right foot. Make your eight left and right. Push front with the circle, pull back, change sides, slow, right? And left, and push, circle, pull it back, and around. Figure eight, right. And left, circle front, side, back, little faster. Figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight. Push and pull and push again. Two full figure eights, so right, left, right, left. Two circles. Two. Figure eight. Figure eight. And push, pull it back, push, pull it back. One more, figure eight. Figure eight. And push, and push. So that covers two of the hallmark movements of Rock Sharky, our figure eight and our circle. There's going to be two more movements that we're going to put together in a little pattern and then a bonus move for our five. So let's start with our weight mostly here in the right foot. And I'm just going to show you to the front here. So put all of your weight into the right foot. Have just a soft bend in the knee. And here I just kind of want you to bounce your left hip, your unweighted hip. Again, let's bring those arms up. Kind of bounce that hip down. Control it, though. You don't want to get out of control and bounce too much. You don't want a whole lot of reverb happening in the upper body. Again, it's a very natural, feminine, and relaxed dance. Meaning I'm not going to have a lot of tension and, and reaction going in other body parts. It's very isolated into the hips and the torso, which is why we call it belly dance. Because that's where the movements are focalized and happening. So I'm really weighted here in the right. Mostly using my oblique and my core here, but if you feel that you want to kind of use a little bit of your leg here to help push that hip up, just keep it small and relaxed. Feel that little bit of bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Let's take the arms up. Down. And again, we have tutorials where we really break down the mechanics of this move. We work on building the muscles and the stamina and the coordination to get some very technically beautiful, isolated hip drops. Drop, 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 five, six, seven, switch sides. Same thing on the other side, weighted on the left. You're gonna just let that right hip bounce down on the beat. So you're gonna come up and release on the beat. Drop, 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 drop. Drop. If you really wanted to slow this one down, you're having a hard time getting the rhythm of that. Up, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, three, four. So right now my accent is on the up. We're gonna switch it to the down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. When that starts to feel good, you can bring it up to speed, but just kind of keep an eye on that posture. Try not to let too much stuff happen. The smaller you make it, the more relaxed and controlled you're going to be able to keep it. Drop, 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 drop. So again, it's not to say that these things um, come super easily, but you should be able to just get a little bit of an intuitive movement pattern here just by watching and following along and starting to feel how that movement works inside of your own body. Drop, 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 drop. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna combine that move here shortly with another very gorgeous movement known as the undulation. So to break the undulation down, and you may have seen these, it goes like this. And it's not just, um, exclusive to Rock Sharky. You can sometimes see these movements and a few other dance forms. What we're really doing, if we break this down into two parts, basically is a cat and a cow exercise where you can contract everything in and then you release it out. Contract the pelvis and the rib cage in, open rib cage and pelvis out. Contract in, open, in, open, in, open, in, Open or close, open, close, open, close, 
open, close, open. If we try it just in those two components there, close and open, and a little faster. Close, open, close, open, close. You can even allow your knees to bend a little bit to create space to tuck that pelvic in. So on this one, you even you want to remember that we're belly dancing. We're going to keep the focus on the hips and the belly and the pelvis. So really focus more on the pelvis, bringing that pelvis in. Close, 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 open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, close, close. Now see if you can imitate what I'm doing here. Rather than just kind of two-dimensionally open and close like this, I'm filling it in with a little bit of a starting in the upper body and the pelvis follows. Rib cage comes in, pelvis comes in. Rib cage comes out, pelvis comes out. In, in, out, out. So it's a four part move now instead of a one, two, one, two, three, four. So again, when we start to break it down like this, it gets a little complex. So for now, just see if you can follow that motion of the close, open, close, open, close, close, release, release, in, in, release, release. Or think of that close, open, rolling down, rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis, release, rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis, especially the pelvis. Rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis, back in neutral, rib cage to pelvis, rib cage to pelvis. Let's tilt our body to the side. Let's step again on that right foot. See if you can add that little undulating movement here. Again, it should feel good. It should be like, oh, wow, that's that's pretty nice. That's something you can incorporate into your daily life. Give yourself a little back massage. Help to strengthen your abdominal wall, which also supports your back and your spine. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Roll it down. Roll it down. Notice how I'm also doing a tiny level change, bending my standing knee. Going in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, change sides. Put that weight in the left foot. Contract in, release. In, release. In, in. Now try to roll it down. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Think in, out. Close. Open, close, open, close, open, in, out, in, 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 out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, allowing that standing knee to just bend a little bit to just help with the natural momentum of the movement, down, and down, and down. Let's add that hip drop here. So just to keep our arms nice and simple, you can bring one hand to the back of the head, one hand out to the side, or you can take both hands out to the side. Just allow that right hip to bounce, weighted in the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, change to undulation. One, two, one, two, one, Two, back to hip drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. And undulation. Down, up, down, up, down. Switch sides. Over here on the right, same thing, arms out. Here. Let's bounce that left hip. Six, seven, one. Another eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Undulation goes out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Hip drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you smile? And undulations. Up, in, out, in, out, in, 
out in. Very nice. So, so far we've covered four of the five. We've got our big circles, we've got our figure eights, we've got our hip drops, and we've got our undulation. Last one, maybe the most exciting one, is the shimmy. So our shimmy is you're gonna alternate the knees. So you're going to be uh, bending and straightening your knees. So if you just kind of practice that there, this mechanic of bend and straight of the knee, and this action of the knees is going to reverb up into the hips. So you do have to let the hips sway in reaction to what the knee is doing. So if you just practice this here, Really be mindful of your posture, though. You want to keep your pelvis forward, so you don't want to have your pelvis back here like this. This makes all kinds of wonky, funky stuff happen. So pull the pelvis in. Softly bend the knees. Bend and straight, bend and straight, bend and straight, bend and straight. And from there, you just start to go a little faster. You start to make the distance between the bend and straight shorter the faster you go. So I don't have time to really do this big of a movement. So I'm actually going to keep my knees in a bend position. I'm never going to hyperextend all the way back. Just slightly. Just enough to actually get my hips to react. And then I'm going to start to go a little faster. And up to what we would say are the 16th notes in the music, which are one e and a two e and a 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 one e and a two e and a. Okay, so the shimmy is definitely one of our most impressive moves in rock sharky belly dancing. It takes people some time to learn this one. Some people are naturals, but very few. I actually was a delayed shimmier. It was my, uh, it was the move I had to work the hardest on to get. And for me, the trick has always been leg strength. So if I have strong legs, my shimmy comes much more natural. So it can also be kind of a good diagnostic tool to see, uh, check in with your quad strength, your inner thigh strength, and your hamstrings, because it re- really requires those muscles to be strong to maintain the rhythmic consistency of your shimmy. So just giving that a try, stop again, find your posture, soft bend in the knees, tuck the pelvis forward, take an inhale, drop those shoulders, bend and straighten those knees, let your hips move, you can start right there, if this is what you've got right now, that's perfect, then you can bump it up a notch from there, one and two and one and two. If the hip shimmy is not coming along for you today, another one you can try is shoulder shimmy. You can also start there. It's a press of the shoulder forward. One, two, one, two, one, two, up to speed, one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and shimmy time. One and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. The real trick here is separating the upper body from lower body, because a lot of people want to do the two like this. So really take the power from the floor under your feet on your hip shimmy, and take the leverage from your shoulders on your shoulder shimmy. Okay, the shimmy is probably the trickiest one of these five classic belly dance moves. So take your time with this one. Join in on some of the other shimmy tutorials if you'd like to really work out your shimmy. And now we're going to put all these moves together in a fun combination. Let's go ahead and put this combination together. So starting weighted in the right, we're going to do 16 counts of the hip drop into 16 counts of the undulation into 16 counts of the big pelvic circle into 16 counts of the figure eight. And then we're gonna shimmy in place, also for 16 counts, switch sides. So here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, hip drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more of those, and we go into our undulation, nice and slow. One, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, Five, six, circle, counterclockwise. 
five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, figure eight to the left, front to back. Eight more, then we shimmy. Five, six, seven, shimmy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Prepare for the right hip drops. Five, six, seven, and again. Five, six, seven, undulation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and again. Get ready for big hip circle on the right. Front, back, front, back. Two more. Figure eights front to back on the right. Figure eight. Five, six, seven, shimmy. Add some arms if you want. Let's do the whole sequence again, this time for eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Undulation for eight. Two, three, four, five, six. Circle for eight. Push, pull, push. Figure eights front to back on the left. Shimmy. Then we change for the right. Five, six, hip drops. One, five, six, seven, undulation. Five, six, big circle, push, pull, push, pull, figure eight. And shimmy. Awesome job with that one. Just know that you can speed it, uh, you can speed it up a little bit if you like. You can also slow it down. So if you love those five classic belly dance moves, join us on some of the other tutorials where we really break it down. And thank you so much for joining me. Ay, grabe po. Ayan mga kalinda. Ah. Pawis na tayo sa belly dancing. Ah. Napakasarap yung sa katawan. Natagal-tagal yung ating toxic sa, ka, sa katawan. Ah, Jesus ko. Ah. Maganda rin talaga siya. Itatry natin, baka naman makuha-kuha pa na tayo ay maka-60 kilos. <laughs> Ayan, mga kalinda. Talaga. Itatry natin. Got the friends, yeah, we'll live in that life. Skip. Mm, gusto ko si Sai. I'm gonna teach you how to belly dance right here at home and all a great workout. But right now, easy to do and basically it is but here's what's going to make it belly dance instead of just you know kind of doing this the key thing is you got to keep your d's bent keep your chest nice and lifted later on check out our video on posture which goes into the detail because you'll get a great workout but right now we just want to get the feel of it and start dancing so bend your knees keep your chest lifted and then you want to slide your hips basically so your hip bones stay parallel to the floor so we're going to push them, push them. Both of my knees are staying bent. So I'm going one, two, three, four. Doom, doom, ta ta ta. Doom, ta ta ta. One, two, three, four. Doom, doom, ta ta ta. Doom, ta ta ta. I'm putting my hips out on the beat. I hope you are too. You can do this to your favorite music, as long as you know the beat. Doom, doom, ta ta doom, ta ta Okay, so that is just the sway, and we're hitting the beat with each hip, pushing our hip as far as it will go on the beat. Do it with your favorite music or Mr. Bob's awesome drumming. Again, check later on, go to our music skills playlist and learn about counting music and all that kind of stuff. But for now, we're doing that sway. What's the key thing? keeping your knees bent so that's our first move we can keep our arms here or we can bring them up here keep your chest lifted okay so let's do two of those one two and then instead of going into another slide let's take the hip that doesn't have any weight on it take those toes and touch them to the floor
This is a pose that I call Iowa. Now, belly dance doesn't have any standard nomenclature. Different dancers call their moves whatever they want. I came up with this name for this pose because it is the basis of a lot of different moves. Iowa is an Arabic word that means something like, oh, wow, oh, yeah, wonderful, whatever. It's kind of an exclamation. So, again, my supporting leg, the knee is bent, my toes and the other feet are on the floor. I'm nice and lifted. So, we've done one, two, three, and four. You touch your toes to the floor. Now, we're going to do this really cool move called a hip drop and you know it by now you know it you check out the other video later on for deep super detail and how to do this move but basically what we're doing is we're wiggling our hips up and down but with a bent knee supporting legs so that we isolate the move keep the move just the lower half we're gonna lift and we're gonna drop the hip on the beat so we're pulling our hip up as if we're going to touch our hip bone to our rib cage and then dropping it on the beat so we're going one two three four doom doom tack tack doom tack tack doom doom tack tack doom tack tack okay now this is getting a serious workout which is good because then you know get in shape and learn to dance now if this is too fast for you you can go half speed doom tack tack one two three four one two three and four hip drop check out the, the technique oh on it God. later because now we're trying to get a little dance oh. now we don't have to do that particular also we have a whole playlist of workouts so each move Malaki-laki pa ang ating bubulo eh. So what we start with? The first move was sway. Okay, like ko. This way, one, two. And then we went to this pose, Iowa. And then we went to hip drop, right? Let's try it to the other side. Starting with this hip, knees bent, chest nice and lifted. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's just do that one back and forth a couple times. One, two, three, four. Sway, sway, step, touch. Sway, sway, step, and touch. Should we try it with the music? One, two, three, four. Doom, doom, tack a tack. Doom, tack a tack. Doom, doom, tack a tack. Doom, tack a tack. Doom, doom, tack a tack. Doom, tack a tack. Doom, doom, tack a tack. Doom, tack a tack. How many moves have we got down? We've got the sway, and we've got just a pose Iowa. And already, we are looking like belly dancers, aren't we? Hit that like button. One more move, and then you're going to have this ready to perform. So the last move was what? Where did it went over it sort of quickly? Right. Hip drop. So let's go back into that sway, 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 pose Iowa. One, two, three three, four, that was our hip drops. To go into the sway now, there's no weight on that leg, so that foot can go back into a sway. Two, three, four, four, sorry, <laughs> hip drop. One, two, three, four. So we're doing sway, pose Iowa, hip drop. Let's do it. We'll just go back and we'll loop it. We'll go back and forth with it. I'll say the words of what we're doing. You, Your job is to copy me saying the words out loud. I know you're probably going to be like, oh, no. When we start, first hear our voices out loud, we're like, ew. Because it puts it into your body in another way. So your body's doing it. Your voice is doing it. Your voice maybe remembers it and your body doesn't, but it helps it. So it builds muscle memory. Should we just try it? Okay. So we can start in that pose, Iowa, because it kind of looks sort of cool, right? Bent knee. Here we go. When you're ready, Bob. 
sway, sway, sway. Touch, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. Sway, sway, step it and touch. Hip drop, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. Sway, sway, sway and touch and hip drop, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. Sway, sway, sway and touch. Hip drop, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. Sway, sway, sway and touch. Hip drop, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. Sway, sway, sway and touch. Hip drop, hip drop, hip drop, hip drop. Sway, sway, sway and touch and drop, drop, drop and back. Sway, sway, sway and touch and drop, drop, drop and drop. Sway, sway, sway and touch and drop, 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 drop. Sway, sway, sway and touch and drop, drop. Drop and drop. Voila! You have learned how to belly dance right here at home in a tiny little space in just a few minutes, and you can perform it. And keep practicing that. Remember to go to the music playlist and the how to belly dance technique to get detailed breakdown of all of these moves. Plus, you are going to want to go to our costuming playlist and learn how to make this hip scarf. This is an old worn out t-shirt that was Bob's. The armpits were all totally gross. Cut them off, made this t-shirt. Threw on some bony pony beads, which you can learn how to do on our channel. Subscribe to us, share it with your friends. Let us know how you do. We will see you on the next video. kasi yun yung magtuturo para mabilis kung gusto kong sayo rin. Hey guys! Welcome again to Rocks Online. We're over here working on integrating our live feature for Rocks Online. And so right now, this uh, setup, the way we're doing it is we're literally just te testing the functionality of getting our setup from Rocks Online to a live platform. So it'll be a little different than this. We're just testing. So wanted to bring you guys in on a fun class that we're going to do today. I'm going to work on some isolations and accents. David is going to roll Rocks Online credits, and we're going to get started. Welcome back. So today we're going to be working on putting together some isolations. We're going to be using one of my favorite moves, the Maya, which is the vertical eight. And we're going to be putting it on a three-quarter shimmy style. And then we're going to add some isolations in between. So for today, um, you guys are just going to get to come in on the back end and sort of watch how we do this and join the class. It's going to be about 10 minutes. And we'll be jamming some of David's great drill music. And in the future, when we add the actual live classes, we're going to be working on how we do it interactively and adding that component of being able to actually see you guys and chat with you guys. But for right now, we're just bringing you in to a class setting here at Rocks Online. So we hope you guys are doing well and staying happy and healthy and sane to the best of your ability right now. And I know, as I've said before, I'm so grateful for dance. Dance is just keeping me sane at this point in time. So I'm so grateful and we're so happy to share with you a little bit of dance today. Hopefully you can stand up or wherever you are if you're still working from home or at an actual place and you can join us. So let's get started. Let's break down our first technique. We're going to have three-quarter Maya. So we're taking our Maya figure eight and I'll start on the right. Right and left and right and change. Left and right and left and change. So one, two, three. 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 And one, two, three. So now that you see what the move is, let's sharpen up the third accent of that Maya on the three quarters. So we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to lock it nice and sharp. 
So soft, soft, sharp. One, two, sharp. One, two, lock. One, two, lock. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, lock. One, two, lock. Boom. Soft, soft, sharp. Soft, soft, sharp. Okay, part one. Now let's talk about adding some isolations. We're going to start with the rib cage. So we're pausing on the three. We have a four count that we have to work with to add some kind of something in between if we would like to. Let's add a rib cage. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Lifting the rib cage up on four and then taking it over to the left side. One, two, three, drop. So soft, soft, sharp, sharp, soft, soft, sharp, sharp. One, two, hip, chest. One, two, hip, chest. One, two, hip, chest. One, two, hip, chest. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, drop. Okay, before we move on to the pelvis and adding some music, let's take a moment just to kind of remind ourselves of posture, the importance of posture, and where we're initiating these movements from. When I'm in my Maya, I'm really working from the core. As you can see, I'm staying isolated on that upper body. So I'm not letting my upper body react to the lower body, which looks really pretty. I love the look of this full kind of lateral side wave where your hips and your chest are going. But it's kind of hard to add a layer on that. So we want to really isolate, keep it in the hips. Boom. So that I can now start to focus on and think about incorporating the upper body as a layer. So I'm going to take my rib cage and I'm going to lift it up and release it back down. So I'm doing this from what's called upper back extension. If you think of where your shoulder blades meet, I'm extending into a contraction there in the upper back area to get a little lift on the upper body or the rib cage. Then I'm releasing it back down either to neutral or maybe you're going to feel it drop down a little bit into your abdominals, especially as we go into the drop. So as we're locking the rib cage down, that's where you're going to feel it come drop down into that upper ab a little bit. And keeping your pelvis in neutral or slightly tucked under is also really important for this one. So here we go again. We have one, two, lock and lift. One, two, lock, drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, lock, lift. One, two, lock, drop. One, two, hip, chest, hip, chest. So we're going to repeat this format, but for pelvis. So as we go, Maya, lock the hip down, pelvic lock up, Maya, lock it down, pelvic lock down. One, two, three, lift, one, two, three, drop, one, two, three, lock it up, one, two, three, and down, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, and down, one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, down. Okay, so let's get a little music flowing and play around with those two variations, and then we're going to put something together where we put it all as one drill, upper body locking. Here we go. Let's start it on the right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Check your posture. Typically, if you're not, you'll know if your posture is off because your hips will start to go back and you start to get this kind of waddling look versus a controlled vertical eight. One, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. So we have the four and the eight to add our isolated accent. Let's start it on the chest. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. 
Can you smile? Are you breathing? Yeah. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do a few more here. Five, six, seven, and. Same thing. Let's actually switch over to the left just so we get a little work on both sides. And let's put the pelvic accent in between. And we'll start also with the pelvic lift, pelvic lock up. Okay, if, you, if you're still working on getting that sharpness on your Maya, it's a pause. You're literally just abruptly stopping and pausing the movement. If you um, are already kind of familiar with creating locks and isolated accents, maybe you have a muscle technique that you like to add to give it a little oomph. You can um, work from the oblique contraction. I really like working my obliques. Some people like working the glute. So... If you want to add a little extra something on there, you can. Or you can just think a sharp, abrupted stop, like putting the brake on in the car. On the left, here we go. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Soft, soft, sharp, and stop the movement. Sharp. One, two, three. One, two, three. Check your posture. Don't let your upper body react. Okay, so if you start to go like this, it's going to be really hard to get those isolated accents and definitely difficult to get the layers. One, two, three. Let's start with the pelvis. Here we go. One, two, three. Pelvic lift. Drop. Lift. Drop. Lift. Drop. Lift, drop, a few more of those. Last one, lift, drop. So as you probably might have felt, here's another reason why posture is so important. If I'm doing my Maya, and I drop out into what's called anterior tilt, where I'm not tucked in or pulled in and I'm kind of pushing my booty back a little bit, um, you completely lose control from the core and actually now I have nowhere to move, right? I'm already in a tilted position, so how can I go down from there? Same thing if I'm too tucked in, I'm already in a contracted position, so how can I go up from there? So it's really important to identify where is your neutral position on your pelvis. Not too far in anterior tilt, not too far in posterior tilt, because if I'm too um, contracted or released, I have nowhere else to go. So I need to stay in the center of those. So I have a little extra space to go into posterior for the tilt. Yeah. with your pelvis flatten out the back just a little bit and then one two three now I have space to lift one two three which then creates the space to drop one two three lift one two three drop lift drop lift drop all right let's complete our little tutorial here today by adding rib cage and a little sequence that we'll do starting with the left hip just to break it down nice and slow we're going to go one two three chest up one two three chest down one two three pelvic up one two three pelvic down one two three chest up one two three chest down one two three pelvic up one two three pelvic down and then we'll move over to the right and try something a little different but let's get our music queued up take that drill over on the left nice big inhale shake it out set your posture five six here we go one two sharp lift sharp drop pelvis lift drop back into the rib cage up down lift down up down lift drop up 
down. Lift, down. Let's try one more time that same drill. Let's see if we can take it up to speed. Let's see if I can take it up to speed. I haven't practiced this yet, so it might be a little rusty even for me. It's going to go, here's the speed of our Maya. So obviously, anytime I'm going to take a movement faster, I need to make the range of motion a little smaller. So everything is going to tighten up and get a little smaller here. And I'm still going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I can add the isolation on the four and the eight in between. Five, six, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, up, down, up, down, lift, drop, up, down. Woo, that's a tough one. Shake it out. And let's go over to the right side. So we'll keep our starting beat over at the right. Let's change it up slightly. So rather than going hip, 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 chest, hip, 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 chest, we're going to go hip, 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 chest, hip, 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 pelvic. So we're going to sequence right, left, right, chest lift, right, left, pelvic lift. Again, right, chest up, left, pelvic up, right, chest down, left, pelvic down. So you're going Maya, 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 chest up, Maya, 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 pelvic up, Maya, chest drop, Maya, pelvic drop. So in between. <laughs> Okay, hanggang dito na lang po ang aking ano, munting, <laughs> ang aking munting vlog, aking sukoshi na hanash. Okay mga kalinda, ha? please like, share, comments, and subscribe! Sayonara! Enjoy the watching mga kalinda. Arigato sa Japanese. Salamat po sa Tagalog. Sayonara.